Hey! Okay, so you guys want to know what I've been up to while I've been away. <laughs> oh boy, I don't remember when the last time was I actually came on webcam to make a video just chatting with you all. Um, what have I done since then? I've been on lots of cruises. Um, I did Comic-Con. I had a Halloween party. I went to see Peter Facinelli at his Barnes & Noble's event. That was really nice. Um, I swear, I've been, I was on like four cruises, so <laughs> shout out to Hornblower Cruises. Um, oh, and I did travel a bit. Uh, hmm. Done lots of things, but I don't quite remember. Comic Con was great. Um, if you haven't done it, you should. I'm looking forward to next year. And I mean, I'm not a big comic book nerd, and I'm not a video game girl. Um, but I still had a great time. And I'll suggest that you dress up. If you dress up, you're going to have a fun time. Unless you're actually there to um, shop and buy comics. You know, actual comic book stuff. <laughs> um, hmm. Oh, I became a Sephora VIB. <laughs> Kat Von D lipstick on. Um, dieting. I changed my hair. It. I dyed it twice. It is still not quite the way I want it. I may just dye the whole thing dark. But we'll see. Holiday shopping, and I'm working on a project right now, which is really cool, and I can't talk about it. But I'm thinking I should do something similar for you guys. Um, at the moment, I'm sending out Christmas cards. If you want one, let me know sooner rather than later. And I do have a bunch of stuff to give away because... I am over 3,000 subs and well over a million and a quarter views. Thank you. Thank you guys so much. Um, I need to get a better YouTube setup and like get back on my makeup tutorials and things like that. Um, I think you guys would like that. Let me know. Or do you guys just prefer the talk videos? I don't know. Or cooking videos? I mean, let me know. It's just hard because I don't have help filming, but I'm going to try to figure it out. I'm going to try to figure it out for you guys. Um, let's see. What else have I been up to? Oh, my landlord's a piece of shit, so I've been having problems with him. And there's just a lot of strange things going on. Like, my coworker's son died, which is really sad. Um... This other coworker, her husband of 20 years, she just found out he was cheating on her. I mean, you know, it's just decent to remember that, yes, it's the holiday season, but not it's not a happy holiday for everybody. Um, me, personally, I'm trying to count my blessings. I mean, everything's not perfect, but some people are really going through a rough time. Like, I know another coworker, she said Christmas has never been the same since her father died so because it was his favorite holiday um so just keep in mind that the holidays are not happy for everyone and so if you can do something nice for somebody do it um i gave clothing to veterans so you know and i decided why well, give them my used clothes so i donated all brand new clothes that i happen to have and never wore i mean it was disgusting how many clothes i have tags still on them never worn I shop too much <laughs> but hopefully I made some female veterans very happy um, the building where I work is doing a toy drive for kids so I should probably buy some toys and um, hmm I'm not doing a secret Santa this year my budget's tight this year unfortunately um, I had to pay some lawyers guys Shh. <laughs> like I said, my landlord's a piece of shit, so unfortunately I had to pay some lawyers, might have to pay some more lawyers, 
that's another reason why I vanished. <laughs> um, I mean, I didn't do anything wrong, believe me. I mean, I, I've never been arrested. I've never even got a ticket for anything, so don't one of you jerks even try to start that rumor, please. My landlord's just an asshole. There's this really dirty word called uh, gentrification. Yeah. Anyway, um, I need to go to the Rockefeller Center tree. I've never been, and it's like right there. I'm like two blocks away. So I should go check that out. Um, my refrigerator broke over Thanksgiving, which was very interesting, and I had to spend hundreds of dollars to have it repaired the very next day. That was one of the most interesting Thanksgivings I've ever had. Who wants to have Thanksgiving with the bust fridge? Well, I did. <laughs> we got through it. And it's funny because we really couldn't bake because we couldn't store the eggs properly. So we bought pies. I bought pies. And it turns out they were gross. <laughs> but you know it's bad when you give your guest a pie and then they call you back to say how nasty it was? <laughs> At least I didn't bake it, so I don't feel that bad. I mean, like, look, it came from a supermarket, okay? You know, shame on them. I was just an innocent victim who bought it. <laughs> it looked pretty. Um, I have no New Year's resolutions. I Last year, I went to a really big party at, in the city. This year, I'm not going to because I have a relative who works uh, in NYPD. And... This relative is suggesting that I don't go into the city that night. So I'm just going to play it safe and I'm not, most likely I'm not going anywhere for New Year's. I'm just going to stay home this year because of the terror threats, unfortunately. So I'll be most likely ringing in 2016 at home unless I go to a local bar in Brooklyn or something. Mm, we'll see. Um, other than that. I did buy my first Tahitian pearl necklace, which you guys may not think anything about that, but that was really exciting to me. They are beautiful. They're so beautiful. I've always wanted a Tahitian pearl, and I got a raise at work, so I was able to finally afford a necklace. <laughs> now, obviously, it's not like a huge strand. It's like a tin cup style, so there's only five pearls on it. <laughs> but they're Tahitians, and they're beautiful beautiful um i want a new diamond i really do i have some diamond earrings coming but i want a diamond ring <laughs> i want a new one we'll see how that works out thinking maybe bonus time um i might have to hit up the jewelry diamond district um you guys know i'm a jewelry addict and that's another thing i turned 30 guys i did turn 30 I know I don't look it. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't really age, but I did hit the big 3 0. And um, I don't know, now that I am, it's like I don't. I haven't really bought a lot of costume jewelry. Um, not like I normally do, because I'm kind of over it. I mean, if it's really, really pretty and good quality, I'll get it. And you guys know I don't spend more than like 30, 40 bucks on a piece of costume jewelry. But, like those cheap little dollar earrings and, you know, I'm just not feeling it anymore. I feel like I'd rather have quality over quantity. So, I don't know. Once I hit 30, it's just like my taste kind of change. Even though I've only been 30 for like a couple months. But, <laughs> I don't know. It's like weird. I'd rather have quality over quantity so I've been buying more fine jewelry which you guys know I don't really show here so sorry but if you go to my Facebook fan page you'll see pictures of my fifth yes fifth jewelry ring box number five <laughs> it's beautiful it's almost full so oh that's my phone yeah and I did upgrade my iPhone no more 4s um <clears throat> and now iPhone 7 is coming out. I hate Apple so much. I actually had to run out today and replace my um, charger. My charger broke last night. <sighs> this charger is the one I keep at home. I have one at work and I have one at home. 
and it just stays there plugged in on the floor how did it break like why why and then so I was like oh my god I need a charger and you know phones die faster than they charge basically so I woke up this morning I was like oh shit my phone's at like 10% it's gonna die and I god forbid my phone die right even though I actually don't make calls on my phone like I don't like phones like I I'm not gonna answer the phone you can call me and it's just like what do you want because like, I, I don't like phones so I have to be like in love with you to stay on the phone or Otherwise, I'm just not going to want to talk on the phone, so it's crazy. But I basically use my phone for Wi-Fi, the apps, the camera, because I love to take photos of things, and uh, photography is like my little side hobby, especially since I don't have the space to paint anymore, because painting was my thing, and I don't have the space to have an easel and supplies up, so photography is like my second hobby, and I can do it anywhere. And I like my iPhone, I don't need to carry bulky cameras, etc. So, I mean, that's basically what I use my phone for, is to fuck around. <laughs> and I don't use it for, like, actual calls or anything. But yeah, so God forbid my phone die, right? So, I was like, oh, there's nothing over here except the family dollar. So I ran to family dollar, I'm like, do you have a charger? They only had two left, and it was like 20 bucks. I was like, What? I could have went to Jack's World and got one for six, but seriously, so, yeah. That was more than, <sighs> that's double what I paid for the original charger. And the one at work is going, which is crazy. Someone, someone broke my charger when I was out, like I had a day off, and it looks like someone stepped on it and bent the metal prong, and no one left me a note, no one said anything, I'm like, wow, so you're just gonna step on my charger and not say anything like it, it's pretty broken so I need to replace that one actually too but whatever um let's see in fact let me take a look at my phone oh Louise Kitty is fine for all of you that uh, care about her and like her she's still grumpy and mean but she's cute as a button and I actually have a Mrs. Claus outfit for her so She's going to be real pissed at me and probably scratching me, but I don't care. Um, let's see. What have I got going on here? Why aren't you people hitting like on my photos? No, okay. <laughs> you don't have to hit like on my photos. It's okay. I'll live. Um, let me see. Hmm, nothing going on here. I'm not missing anything. Oh. Nothing going on Twitter either, and I'm a little sleepy. I have a roast cooking in the crock pot, which is good because I love crock pots. It's so easy. You can just throw everything in there and let it cook. I don't have to baby it or monitor the temperature or keep stirring. And it makes enough food for a couple days, so that's wonderful. So that should be my dinner tonight and my lunch tomorrow or for the rest of the week for work because I had a few days off. Um, hmm, well, I may as well take a moment to encourage you guys. Um, you know, Christmas is not about material things. Life shouldn't be just about material things. You know, as much as I like to shop, I'm saying this. <laughs> Whatever someone gives you, just be grateful that they took the time to give you anything. And, um, if no one gave you anything, celebrate yourself. Um, it's just knowing that you're worth it, I suppose. And be careful how you get things in life. You know, I really believe that karma is very much real. Um, if you are just grubby and grabby and will scratch and claw your way up to the top and, you know, you don't give a damn who you step on or what you take from people because you feel entitled and you feel that you deserve to be in a certain position or to have certain things karma's real and that shit will come back and bite you in the ass in fact there's this one overrated actress that I can't wait for karma to bite her in the ass because she's just a very nasty person and I personally don't like to see wicked people prosper like that irritates me more than anything else I think 
is when you see people who are nasty and just wicked. I mean, I don't know a better word, but just wicked. And it just seems like they're just laughing their way to the top and just pushing everybody out the way not giving a fuck about anyone but themselves and then the fact that they lie or or even worse is that they're just so brazen and bold about the things that they've done to people like yeah i fucked her husband yeah i got somebody fired yeah i slept with someone to get this job like they brag about the wicked shit they've done like it's a badge of honor and I'm just like you you're gross like you're gross and you're really gonna get humbled and I can't wait like I've got my snacks and my drink lined up because I can't wait to see you get what you deserve bitch <laughs> you know even if it takes a few years and you know what I get irritated when I see wicked people prosper but the higher they climb the higher they fall so maybe it's good let the bitch claw her way to the top. Let him claw his way to the top. Because the higher you go, the harder you fucking fall. And the more of a show it is for me. So, I just don't like that. Like, I don't like, I don't like people like that. And I have a friend who's dating someone like that. Well, worse, engaged to someone like that. Who, she cares about no one and nothing but herself. And it's just like, dude... I get so mad with him because I'm like, what do you see? What do you see in this bitch? She's scrawny. She's unattractive. I mean, she's ugly. She's got like this thing on her face and like she's, she looks like a lizard crossed with a human, crossed with Morticia Adams, crossed with Lurch from the Adams family, crossed with Michael Jackson. Like she's really unattractive. I'm not even going to shout her out because she's an actress and she doesn't really have a claim to fame except this one show that's on now that nobody I know even watches, but apparently it's a hit on NBC. But who the fuck watches NBC? But okay. So yeah, I mean, I think she's hideous inside and out. And I'm just like, what do you see in this bitch? Because everything I see is negative. But, you know, I just, I mean, she puts no one and nothing before herself. I mean, I see her as an uneducated redneck, to be quite honest. <laughs> she's just an unattractive redneck and let me tell you something about women okay if a woman doesn't have intelligence if she's not known for her personality or some serious talent and she's not attractive the only next thing after that is slutting to get what you want if you don't have the brains and you don't have the looks and you don't have the talent they whore that's just what women do, okay? And you got some men who are doing that now, too. I mean, you know, don't come at me with the whole sexism shit. But it's been my experience that if a woman doesn't have one of the three or all of them, if she can't rely on her brain, her face, her body, or, like, some talent, she's going to use her vagina to get whatever the fuck she wants. And to me, those women are the worst. The worst. Because I feel like you set women back by 30 years. And it's funny because I see these wicked people who think they are just the shit, right? I'm like, bitch, you're ugly. Sit down. Like, you're not talented. You can't cook. Like, you're not a great actress. Like, like you're, you can't even get anything on your own. Like, you have to steal from other people to, to get, like, ugh, anyway. <laughs> Anyway, oh, and of course she blocked me on Twitter, though I never tweeted her. Like, I have three accounts, and it's a long story on to why I even had to make the third. It's ridiculous. But I have three accounts. Two of the three never mentioned her. And in fact, were she, I blocked her upon creating them. She found them and blocked me. Bitch, why? Why? You're so whack. You are such a whack bitch. Anyway, you know, you see these people like her, and they're just so fucking brazen, and they think they're so badass. You think that being able to manipulate people or use sex as a weapon makes you so badass, bitch? Like, you have this obsession with, like, a tough persona and a tough reputation, you're not tough. Like, you're a fucking bully, first of all. You know who you can fuck with because someone who's really going to hit you, 
or fuck you up, you don't fuck with them. So you're really not that badass at all. And then for you to be so badass, you sure don't like to take a hit or a punch. I mean, you want to fight, we can fight, but you won't because you're a fucking punk. So I, you know, I hate bitches like that. Girl power. How are you girl power when all you did was use your vagina to get what you want? Like, I don't see you educating yourself. <laughs> You're girl power, but you suck dicks to get what you want. And then you turn around and see every other woman as a competition and treat other women like shit unless you think you're above them. Bitch, please. Like, why are these bitches so fake? Why? Like, why are they so fake? And then when you call them out, you're the bad guy. Okay, I'm the bad guy because I'm pointing out that she's full of shit. Okay, I'll take it. I'll take it. I'm just like, yeah, you're not badass at all. You are what women should never want to be. Um, like, you're a coward. You're a bully. You're a liar. You're a manipulator. You're selfish. You're barbaric. Like, you're a cave whore. Like, that's all you know how to do is fucking suck to get your way. And to fucking bully people who are lesser than you. And to me, that makes you weak. If you have to pick on someone who isn't able to fight back, you're weak as fuck. Like, she's weak sauce. And I'm like, I don't care. Take all the fucking kickboxing lessons you want. Like, you're not tough. And I met this particular actress, too nasty like just straight up nasty wouldn't even say hello like I was there and I wasn't there to see her anyway <laughs> in fact she tried to stop me from ever being there in the first place which is hilarious um, but I wasn't there to see her I was there to see someone else someone who is um wonderful and I wish I could protect him from her I wish I could but I can't because whore pussy I mean what are you gonna do he's he's uh she's got her fangs in him which is scary because she's flat as a fucking iron board. Her jaw is sharp as a fucking knife. Like, she's hideous. No ass, no tits. Her face is sagging. I'm like... You stuck on that? <laughs> like, dude! Like, first of all, he's gorgeous. He's Italian. He's beautiful. Why? why are you with that bitch and she's looking like roadkill and you're looking like you fell straight from heaven like I don't understand like and I'm sorry but the sex cannot be that good cause her ass is not even a pancake it's a crepe <laughs> and her titties are convex like he's got more ass and titties than she does like it's ridiculous and her face is like ugh her, she's got a five head like her forehead is it's not a forehead, guys. It's a five head, okay? And her her jaw is like, like... She has a chin like a dildo. Like, she's just... I just don't like her, and I think she's hideous inside and out. And he knows I don't like her, and I've cussed her ass up from sundown to sundown because I don't fucking like her. And I mean, like, if she got hit by a bus, I'd be like... That's life. <laughs> but, you know, I'd only... Just... I would just never want him to hurt... But other than that, please, you know, like, she's as motherly as a python. Like, she, does, she doesn't love his kids like they're hers. She cares about that fucking dog more than she cares about the rest of them. She's just a nasty human being. And I hate that men allow women to slut their way into their lives. Guys need to start thinking with their heads instead of their dicks. Because you can wind up in bed with a demon. You can literally wind up caught up and in bed with a demon if you don't watch yourself. But so, yeah, I'm waiting for Karma to bite her in the ass because she deserves it. Like, her face just fucking irritates me at this point. And if I could shove her down a flight of stairs, I would. But, you know, but that would hurt him and I don't want to do that. But <laughs> if he's not looking, I just want to, you know, just... Mm. <laughs> And she wouldn't do anything back because she's a fucking punk. I could be like, what, bitch? And she, she'd go like this, so. <laughs> and like, she's, like, tall and doofy and lanky, and her style's just nasty, and she looks like she stinks. Like, ugh. Um, I don't know what he sees in her. God bless him, because 
Nobody else would want that raggedy thing. <laughs> like, nobody else would want her. Um, she's gross. If she can't cook, like, ugh, her nasty ass soup looks like diarrhea. Ugh. She ain't got no lips, like, just, ugh. <laughs> there's, a, there's a thing on her face, like, ugh. If she's aging in dog years, bleh. <laughs> um, bleh. that's all I can say. But um, but yes, she's one of these wicked people. Just one. There's others that I've observed, but she's one of these wicked people that I just can't wait to see her fucking fall from grace because she's done some fucked up things to people, and people like that are so immature because. When you call them out, they play victim. As if, like, what? I'm calling you out for what you did. Why are you the victim now? Like, these bitches act their shoe size instead of their actual age. She's older than me. And she acts like she's fucking 16. Like, apparently there's problems with her co-stars not liking her. And she, she likes to get people fired. Which is so crazy because in this economy, you don't fuck with people's jobs. Like, you don't fuck with people's jobs and you don't fuck with people's husbands. It's just like, bitch, you want to die? You just want to die, right? You have a death wish? Because keep fucking with people's jobs and keep fucking with people's spouses and someone's going to fucking shoot you or worse. This is New York City, bitch. Get it how you live. I'm sorry. Like, this ain't Texas. Um... <laughs> <laughs> keep fucking with people and we will send you home in a casket okay um you know new york is no joke she doesn't belong here like i'm sorry like she wants to be new york so bad and i'm like ew first of all bitch instead of stalking me stalk a stylist because you look like shit get off my balls like why don't you go stalk a stylist <laughs> but it's just like I don't like her and I know she's gonna see this video fuck you bitch like you ain't shit like I'm sorry you're never gonna be shit and you're just gonna keep hating on me and I'm gonna keep flirting with him just because I don't like you just because I don't like you and he deserves better than you my babes deserves a queen you know this sweet gorgeous Italian man deserves a queen him and his daughters deserve a queen you are snake shit and you don't belong there and you're lucky I'm not his family because I would have sent your ass running for the hills and just had him be mad at me and not give me a fuck because no <laughs> no like your ass would have been gone a long time ago if I had it my way um <laughs> he's wonderful but this chick is just Ugh. <laughs> and for those of you who know who I'm talking about, look for yourself. Go look at her Instagram. Go look at her Twitter. She's fucking hideous. And you can just tell she looks shady. Like, she looks shady. She's fake. Just like people like her, she's fake. You know, unfortunately, women are judged by a lot that men aren't necessarily judged upon. And so you have these thirsty women who feel like they will do anything to get what they want and usually that anything includes using men especially when they don't have the mental capabilities to use their brain you know especially when they're not nice people who can get by in personality nobody likes her like she's good at pretending to be sweet until she gets what she wants and see that's the thing you have to pay attention to how people act after they get what they want because usually that's who they really are anyone can kiss ass anyone can celebrate with you on a birthday or a holiday you know anyone can pretend to be lovey lovey dovey when it's all good but it's how people treat you after they get their way their way when they don't get their way you know in the bad times that's when you see people's true colors you know and this particular bitch will pretend to be sweet and then after she gets her way she just starts acting like a brat because that's what she is that's what she is and it's a shame because this guy is known for being so sweet like everyone that meets him he's so sweet he's so nice and it's genuine you know he's just a sweetheart 
And it's a shame that he's with a bitch like this. Bye, guys. That's my door.